Let's take a look at some of the ways you can present your ad on Craigslist. Going to the housing section under real estate for sale, I see the most recent listings are near the top. In this case, Thursday, October 28th. If we go down the list here, you see the most recently posted listings are at the top, obviously. So let's look at just a, a few different styles of the way your listing could appear. Clicking on this one here, it looks like for sale by owner. The user has just basically typed in uh, information about the property and, a, um, and an email address. You, you can begin to look around at the different styles. You'll notice that you can add a photo to your property. You can actually insert links, uh, t which uh, will help uh, bring the user to more information about this property. But then you get into a little bit more elaborate ads. I'm going to click this link, and you'll notice that Craigslist allows you to present your ad in a much more graphically pleasing way hopefully to get more people to click through and see more information about the property. It's, uh, uh, it's more professional. I'll show you another sample here. Different real estate brokerages will, will provide this service uh, to their agents so that all they, have, they don't have to know anything about HTML programming, uh, but they just have to um, have a Craigslist account, which is free, and you basically paste uh, you copy and paste this code in on your listing to present it in this fashion or you simply just type it in by hand and you would get this. So the option is clear. Which one would you prefer? Uh, obviously the one with uh, more photos. Now Craigslist will keep your ad up to 45 days on their site for free again. So if someone wanted to actually search for a specific property, as I'm going to try here, searching in Beaver Creek, and let's try a property at uh, 150,000 to 175,000. And I'm going to go ahead and start my search uh, where, where I have the entire post option selected, and I'm clicking search. You'll notice I see uh, 21 properties that begin October 26th, going all the way back to September 13th. And I begin to shop around by clicking on the link. And you'll notice the more attractive ads will cause a person to be more interested in the property. They're more likely to uh, click through and uh, eventually uh, contact somebody about the property. Pictures are very important, so that keep that in mind, but uh, the more attractive the ads are, the more likely you're going to have uh, success uh, driving traffic to the site. There is an advantage to having your listing appear at the top of page one on Craigslist, but if I'm looking for a 150 thousand dollar house more likely I'm not going to click this one that says sixty six thousand because it's not what I wanted um, so I'm going to use search criteria and uh, that that then becomes an equal playing field for everyone if I was shopping for a one hundred and fifty thousand dollar house and I was a realtor who was listing a one hundred and fifty thousand dollar house I would want it to appear on page one. So what some agents will do is delete uh, their listing uh, day by day uh, <clears throat> in the uh, in the login admin area and repost the listing every day. You can do that. I'll show you how. Now once I've created my free Craigslist account and I'm logged in, I would go to the housing section. I want to uh, post my house that I'm listing. I select I am offering housing. I then go down to the real estate by broker area and begin to type in my information about the ad. I have a sample property here I'm going to use. I would like to uh, 
put in some of the criteria here and make your title uh, interesting. Motivated seller. And you, you'll have your price there. And let's put in, you know, Beaver Creek. Now instead of just typing four bedrooms, two baths, newly remodeled, I want my ad to look something like this. And I'll show you. When I go over to my Flyer Maker Pro list of listings, I now can scroll down to click the link to get my Craigslist ad put together for me. And here's what the ad will look like in Craigslist once I paste the code in. Lots of information there. Every one of these photos is a link back to the agent's website. Here is a link to the uh, YouTube video that is presented on the, on the website details page. Uh, there's the contact, the phone number, all this good information to drive traffic back to my website. But to get the code, I simply click in the text box above and I can drag my mouse over text and that highlights it. But this is quite a long text box here. So the trick is to just click into the box and holding my control key and hitting the letter A as in all, I select all of the text with that keyboard shortcut. Now once it's highlighted, you'll notice it's all in blue. I can right click on it and I will see a pop-up menu that says copy. I click copy. Then I go back over to Craigslist and in the posting description area here, I just click in there in the box, right click now and click paste. And I've just transported all that text into my listing. There it is. Once I hit continue, uh, it's going to give me a uh, preview. After you preview it, if you like it, uh, this is what uh, will, will appear when someone clicks on your listing in Craigslist. Now Craigslist is not the only game in town. There's a website called Backpage which allows you to do the same thing. Uh, also, a very popular search engine for real estate called ClassifiedAds.com. Both of these websites allow you to present enhanced HTML graphic uh, listings using the method that I just showed you. So you can get a lot of traffic flowing onto your listing from these three websites. Don't think Craigslist is the only source. For example, here is my ad as presented in classifiedads.com and showing you what it looks like inside their free presentation. Again, much better layout. And when they click any of the links in your ad, it takes them right to your website. All the photos and everything drives the user right back to your website. 